Well, Stellantis might be in some serious trouble this quarter. Last quarter, we knew that they held a massive L, losing 40% of profit year over year from that same time. A, just a massive, massive drop. We saw the stock, you know, for the last six months go down about 31, 32%. I mean, we can look at a real number, but it's about to get a lot worse. AutoNation, one of America's largest dealer networks, is dumping dealerships. And that means, in some states, Stellantis has to buy back inventory. Damn. For the longest time. Whoa. For the longest time. Man, it literally seems like every day Stellantis cannot catch a break, man. Uh, L after L, they just keep taking them and rubbing them on their chest. They just, they can't catch a W to save their lives. And uh, today is not going to be any different. Auto Nation, which is the one of the United States's, United States's, that's a great word, one of the United States's. <laughs> Largest automotive dealer networks, auto groups, has started dropping dealerships. Now, we talked about this, which you may have seen this morning. I, I cut this yesterday, talking about Ford dropping, uh, about uh, AutoNation dropping two that they've already sold and maybe dropping up to 30 that they've already, these are in regulatory filings, that they're talking about dropping dealerships, selling them, closing them all together and moving inventory. Now where this gets interesting is in some states, the franchise agreements, like in North Carolina and other states, and you've already seen the story about the, the dealership with all the fleet vehicles and there's a lawsuit and all that fun stuff. More on that in an upcoming video. But AutoNation is also doing the same thing with Stellantis. Underperforming solo dealerships of Chrysler and Jeep, they have, they have a few of those that are just Chrysler Jeep dealerships, so basically minivans and Jeeps, right? And then they have their regular Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram stores where they have everything. They are preparing to sell and or close whatever is more advantageous for the company several Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealerships. Now, what does that mean? Well, if those dealerships are in a state that requires Stellantis to buy them back and they're ending those franchise agreements in those states, and in some cases, it looks like AutoNation could completely pull out of Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in select states. That could mean billions, with a B, of dollars. Stellantis is going to have to come out of pocket to pay back AutoNation for vehicles. Now, I already know what you're going to say in the comment. With TK, they could just move. They could just move the cars between dealerships. Yeah, they could. But why? Think about this from a business perspective. <clears throat> if you're a dealer and you're closing dealerships or you're closing that franchise agreement in that state, right? Which is what this story is coming from. <clears throat> and all that inventory at those three dealerships has to go back to Stellantis. Or would, would you move it to another state or move it to another dealership when cars aren't selling, trucks aren't selling, or do you execute that option that makes Stellantis have to take that inventory back? If I'm a business owner, and I'm talking about this strictly from a business sense, I'm making the manufacturer take back those vehicles so I don't have a loss. Does that make sense? So Stellantis has massive exposure right now, and they've done it to themselves with the massively high-priced vehicles Auto Nation, and it's not just them. 
Because I know a lot of people say, well, you, you know, it's just auto nation. Lithium won't do that. Yes, they will. Don't get it twisted. These companies are all about their bottom line. Now, in the case of Lithia, they have their own financing network as well. They're not uh, as set on Stellantis Financial like, say, AutoNation. Is. They have their own banks. They do their own thing. But I just saw this and just thought the absolute dollar signs. Like, I'm sure Carlos Tavares is... If anything, he's 100%, like, he didn't, he he has shown the dealers no love. And here's the thing, the dealers did it to themselves. They effed over consumers. <clears throat> Stellantis did jack up prices. And then you effed over consumers further with add-ons, BS, games, adjusted markups, all kinds of BS. You do that, and then you expect consumers to come back and that's not how that works so now auto nations in the in the pickle of where they're saying eh, we're going to close these they're not profitable they're costing us money to stay open every month we're going to dump these might even dump all the dealerships in a specific state and make Stellantis take back this inventory it'll be interesting I you know I know we're we're a ways away right but I can't wait to see what that earnings, what those earnings are going to look like here in a couple of months. I'm literally, I'm looking forward to it because I feel that when these next earnings drop because with the further investment into Archer Aviation as Stellantis dumped more money into that as Hornets are still piling up and not selling that you had to go 0% for 84 months through Stellantis Financial to try to sell the damn things and you still can't move them. Rams sitting on the lot still from 2022. 2023 is becoming a problem as 2025s are hitting the lot. When you have new vehicles from 2022 sitting, that's a problem. Because this is the time of year, it's September, guys. This is the time of year where all manufacturers start posting deals because they want to get rid of the previous uh, inventory because guess what's coming in for most manufacturers in August and September? The next model year. They're here. Except for Stellantis. I don't know when the hell they're going to actually get this charger out. They're already supposed to be on lots. They're already supposed to be for sale, but they've been delayed. And all of this stuff is stacking up to the point where... Auto Nation is saying, nope. And I got another story for you with Auto Nation on why they're making these moves now. Why are they cutting the fat? Why are they cutting Ford dealerships, Stellantis dealerships? Because they're about to maybe get into a whole nother dealership structure. And we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Anyways. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Go check out our uh, second channel, TK's Garage 2, if you like auction content, auctions, videos, rebuilds, things of that nature that lives over there. And until next time, stay petty, my friends. Whoopee!